Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of creating given when then, also known as GWT, scenarios for a user story. Now, the GWT structure is pretty much like a Swiss Army knife in the world of testing. You can pop it out whenever you're dealing with user story acceptance criteria. I've mentioned that in the previous video. Or when you're knee deep in acceptance testing. Let me rephrase that. It's absolutely unbeatable when it comes to acceptance testing. The detail it provides makes it an automated testing superstar. So let's see how ChatGPT helps the BA create these nifty structures. Here's the prompt to get you started. My user story, like it says here, is about a social media influencer wanting to share reviews on multiple platforms when using the FeedMe app. Now, of course, to give ChatGPT a chance at giving me a reasonable response, I also need to give it a bit of background about the product I'm working on. So, as per this product description and background, we're talking about the FeedMe app. And if you've already watched any of my other AI for BA videos, you might be familiar with the product. For those of you who don't know, the app will be available as a mobile device application, allowing registered users to maintain a profile of their dietary restrictions and budget constraints. Success. With the help of GPS, yada, yada, yada. Yeah. Um, well, yep, that includes a list of menu items at each eatery that fits the user's dietary and budget profile. Oh, okay, good, good. Oh, and here's the part that I think is germane here. Can share their experiences on their social media platform of choice. That sounds really good. But if you want a deeper understanding of the background, of it, just hit the pause button and you can read the entire vision statement at your leisure. But let's see what we got. Its first recommended scenario is titled Sharing Reviews on Facebook. Given I am a registered user on the FeedMe app and I have set up a Facebook account in my app profile, when I post a review on FeedMe about a particular eatery, then the review should automatically be shared on my Facebook profile. Okay, might be pretty obvious, but it's pretty clear and straightforward. I'm not exactly awe-inspiring. Same is true of the next scenario which just replaces Facebook with Twitter. Okay. And scenario three is a catch-all for any social media platform. I'm not exactly blown away with chat GPT's creativity, but if I'm responsible for delivering GWT structure, these all look pretty darn good. They're certainly legitimate scenarios and they save me the time it would have taken me to write them. Scenario five is interesting. I'm not sure I would have thought of it. Updating social media settings after a review has been made. Given I am a registered user on the FeedMe app and I have already posted a review on an eatery, when I update my social media settings to add a new platform, then the app should not retroactively share previous reviews on the newly added platform. That's an interesting one. Same is true, by the way, of scenario six. It's actually a bit more unusual, and I'm not at all sure I would have thought of it. So there's certainly some value being delivered here. Nonetheless, I'm not really in love with the repetitive nature of every scenario telling me I need to be logged in. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT if it knows the background statement. Okay, the background statement, it says, is used to set up a common context of preconditions that apply to each scenario in a particular feature file. No question. It also gives a good definition, and the example fits in really well, too. This is where it gets more interesting. See, the background statement is a secret ingredient in GWT. Like ChatGPT says, it sets the stage for multiple scenarios, ensuring that you have common setup criteria for each scenario. And each scenario builds on this common setup. Great. I now ask it to rewrite those previous GWT statements this time using the background statement. So it writes, background, given I am a registered user on the FeedMe app and I have set up my social media account in my app profile, okay? So you can see the scenarios one, two, and even three are, all of them are much simpler this way. They drop those two criteria. They all share the identical setup criteria that are now defined in the background statement. However, when I get to scenario four, I sense a problem. It adds the statement, given I have not linked any social media accounts to my app profile, 
Now, it's perfectly legitimate to add additional given statements in any scenario, but they cannot contradict those from the background statement. Now, in our case, not having accounts linked seems to me to contradict, I have set up my social media account from the background statement. That's a problem in my book and a great example of how you, as the business analyst, always have to verify the output of ChatGPT before you pass it on. See, folks, that's the beauty of GWT. It helps us describe the behavior of a system in a language that's easily understood by everyone involved, like domain experts and developers. It's kind of like being able to explain the plot of Inception so that your great-grandma gets it. Imagine how tough that could be. So our clever AI, ChatGPT, took a complex scenario and turned it into easy-to-understand steps. That bridges the gap between techies and non-techies. I think it proved itself to be a valuable tool in your never-ending struggle to reduce the time it takes to produce understandable requirements for software developers. Now, that's a win-win. As always, however, don't forget to make sure that you are satisfied with the results. It's not uncommon for business analysts to have to add other scenarios, probably because of their prior experience in their position. These are things that ChatGPT couldn't mention because it didn't know about them. Never, never look at the results that you would get from a ChatGPT interaction as the final word. And that's it for today, folks. Remember, in the world of software development, it's not about making things complicated. It's about making the complicated things simple. So see you next time on AI for BAs.